Hilda season 3 just destroyed the show's biggest theory and did it in the best way possible. You see, since the show came out, or even the books really, one question has been in the mind of every fan. Where is Hilda's dad? Thus, various theories emerged, but one stood out specifically. The character that goes by the name The Bellkeeper had all the potential to be Hilda's father. But why did the theory make sense in the first place? And who is Hilda's real dad? The Bellkeeper, or the Keeper of the Bell as Eric Albrecht calls him, first appears in Season 2, Episode 1, The Troll Circle, and serves as a minor character. But even this one little moment already leads to various speculations. Firstly, he seems to be the only character in the show who has blue strips of hair, besides Hilda, of course which makes you want to think they're related. Not only that, but he also surprisingly mentions eating a cucumber sandwich, which is known to be liked in Hilda's family, well, specifically by her and her mother. Hilda and the bellkeeper already seem to share some interesting dynamic. Though, this dynamic develops more than ever during the bellkeeper's second appearance in Season 2, Episode 6, The Old Bells of Trollberg. Hilda and the bellkeeper meet again, now face to face, all alone by themselves. The bellkeeper treats Hilda to some tea, and it turns out they have a few things in common, like being invested in wildlife. Overall, the bellkeeper's hospitality and friendliness truly make him a father figure in Hilda's life, even if they haven't really spent much time together. Though, he does help Hilda later on in the episode, which only confirms he's a pretty positive character. Moreover, near the end of the episode, the bellkeeper catches a sight of Joanna standing together with Hilda when his face expression suddenly changes. He even smiles when Hilda avoids speaking of the events that took place. At the time, people thought that if he is the father, this clearly indicates his happiness about the fact that Hilda is happy with Joanna and that she avoided bringing him up. When Hilda does bring up her dad for the first time though, is in Hilda and the Mountain King movie. She just casually asks whether trolls have dads, and when she gets a response of no, she seems to get really upset. Not only is this a touching moment, but it also shows that Hilda cares about her dad and misses him. It allows to see how much she needs a father in her life, and how she might have felt left out living only with her mother. In addition, this acts as a perfect setup for the season 3 story, which is heavily focused on Hilda's family, and finally reveals the identity of Hilda's dad. But before that, Luke Pearson, the creator of Hilda, said a few words about her dad as well. Now, he never explicitly talked about him, but in a few interviews that he's had, he clearly mentioned that Hilda's dad is of no importance to the story, as he's never been there for her and his whereabouts aren't clear either. But season 3 finally fills in the gaps and answers all these mysteries with the introduction of Anders. Turns out the adventurous nature of Hilda comes from the dad's side, he even speaks of that himself. You know, Hilda gets her adventurous streak from me. When it comes to other traits of his character, well, he's clearly not very punctual as he's late for the ship, then fails to bring Hilda home in time, and seems to be a bit annoying for Janna. The first introduction of his basically confirms the words of Luke Pearson. He's just never been there for Hilda. But he did keep her baby photo, later updated to the teenage version, so you can't say that he doesn't care which is also confirmed in the finale. So, what happened in the finale? When Anders arrives to Trollberg, he immediately visits Joanna and Hilda and takes Hilda, Frida and David out for lunch. It appears that Anders is short of money and is currently looking for a job, when a good opportunity finds itself. Anders is promised some money if he can help out others at the castle ruins, so he takes Hilda with him for an adventure. Though, it turns out that they were actually robbing a troll horde, and while escaping from the troll, Anders almost gets eaten before mysteriously disappearing. Later, Hilda gets a message on the radio and Alfred locates Anders along with Victoria Van Gale in the Fairy Mound in Toffeton. She quickly goes there through the nowhere space and enters the Fairy Mound, where she reunites with her dad and gets him out with the help of her friends. And she also goes through lots of family drama due to her mom being in there, and if you want to see a separate video about Hilda's family, comment down below. But yeah, after all the problems had been dealt with, Anders settles in Trollberg in his own flat so he can visit Hilda and Joanna anytime now. Back to the Bellkeeper theory though, it was obviously proven false, but is it a bad thing? First of all, the writers gave a clear sign that they listened to the community, as in one of the last shots of the final episode, during this year's birth parade, Anders actually bumps into the bellkeeper. For me, this was the most emotional moment of the season, 
but really, it's more of a minor detail which simply pays respect to the original theory. But whoever came up with this moment, I wanna straight out applaud to them. Anyway, the fact that the bellkeeper is not healed as dead is actually not that upsetting. In fact, I've heard people consider this the best possible outcome as indeed, a new character being healed as dead makes a lot of sense. Again, it justifies the previous words of Luke Pearson, that he's just not necessary for the story, hasn't been there for Hilda, and perhaps has a lot of self-improvement to do. All in all though, the story of Hilda is not really about some crazy plot twists, it's about adventures and having fun, finding your place in this world and working on yourself. It is natural for crazy theories to be proven wrong, as the creator may have intended something totally different from the beginning. You can guess everything right, and it would be no fun. So run series are just a part of every show. After all, such is the life of an adventurer.